The plight of the Palestinians is one of the biggest issues for the left. The myth that Hamas and the Palestinians dream of a peaceful solution is peddled constantly to all of us. And the left are always taken to the streets of European capital cities to fight for the rights of these people. Which is interesting, because if they really want to fight for the rights of genuinely innocent people who are being oppressed, they should be supporting Balochistan like me. The Baluch people have been displaced, killed and overlooked for decades. The left would rather spend their time defending savagery against the only democracy in the Middle East. Isn't it amazing that it has come to me, an alleged Islamophobe, to speak up for the millions of Baluch people, some of whom are Sunni Muslims? During the days of the empire, Baluchistan was divided into Iran, Afghanistan and Eastern Baluchistan. But after the partition of India, Eastern Baluchistan was then annexed into Pakistan. Other Baluch regions were then merged into provinces like Punjab by the Pakistani government, which divided the Baluch people and displaced them from their historic homeland. 50% of Baluch now live in Baluchistan and 40% live in Sindh. Baluchistan makes up 44% of the total landmass of Pakistan. It's also used for its strategic location with its coastline connecting Central Asia and the Middle East. This combined with the fact that Baluchistan is rich in gas, coal and gold, it's easy to see why Pakistan continues to ignore and exploit the native people of that land. But it doesn't matter how resource rich Baluchistan is, Pakistan has zero intention of allowing the Baluchi people to benefit from the wealth that they produce. That's why there's been five major military conflicts between Pakistan and Baluchistan since 1947. With the most recent occurring after the assassination of the Baluch nationalist leader Nawab Bukhdi in 2006. Bukhdi was killed along with 37 tribals during a military operation. This is what happens when anyone tries to stand up to the Pakistani government. And the West seems silent about it, complete silence. It's a struggle that has existed since the birth of Pakistan. And Bukhdi spent many years behind bars because of his activism. And with this kind of brutality, these people have endured over years and years. It's not surprised that he dedicated his life to protecting his own people. If you search the internet for what happened on the 17th of March 2005, you won't find much at all. The media aren't interested in real, genuine struggles. What they didn't seem to want you to know was that the Pakistani army attacked Dera Bukhdi town in Balochistan in an attempt to kill Nawab Bukhdi. They used mortars, rocket shells and helicopters to take him out. And as a result, they killed 72 civilians, innocent civilians. The Baluch Republican Party has reported that 33 of those were Hindu and over 100 other people were severely injured. We have the names of those people who died that day and who were killed. This is a war crime. It's a war crime against innocent people. How is it that an atrocity like this is so easily and willingly ignored by the United Nations? And the international press, where have they been on this issue? How many people actually watching this have actually heard anything of the struggle of the Baluch people? Why is it the Pakistan army is allowed to kill people within its own borders with impunity? And why aren't we talking about this when the media is constantly complaining about Jewish people defending themselves against Palestinian terrorists? Not much has changed in 12 years since these attacks. Bukhdi is now dead and Pakistan continues to take advantage of the Baluch people. The education system in Baluchistan is failing miserably. An education emergency was imposed by the provincial government. But despite that, local media is reporting that 963 schools in the province aren't even functional yet. They keep promising to build schools and keep promising all these things and never come through with them. 44% of children between the ages of 5 and 16 still aren't attending school. And for girls, the situation is far, far worse, particularly in the rural areas. And then there's the lack of development. Despite the mountains and forests, Baluchistan has few gardens and agricultural tracks. Most of the province is completely barren and the fear of yet another drought is leaving the Baluch people uncertain whether they'll even have the access to water soon. Why is it that such a resource rich province is left with no investments in anything essential, even water infrastructure for these people? There are even kidnappings, constant kidnappings. In 2016, the family of a Pakistani activist who was attempting to highlight the problem of people going missing in Balochistan claimed he was abducted by Pakistani security agencies. Abdul Baluch has been missing since July 2016. The Baluch Republican Party has a huge list of missing people on their website and another list of people who have been killed and dumped by Pakistani forces. I'm contacted daily by people from this region who message me pictures of their loved ones that are missing or been killed and they're desperate for someone to voice their concerns and no one anywhere is speaking up for these people. This is so widespread, it's unbelievable. This is happening every day, not by rogue extremist groups. This is by the Pakistani military who our government work with. In 2014, the families of missing people of Balochistan completed a 2,000 kilometre march in protest. The March of 20 started their march in October 2013 from the capital, Quetta. One of the marches was 72 years old. 
It's how far they will go to raise awareness for their adopted family members. But the international community still does not care. Human Rights Watch believes that of the people abducted, 300 have been killed and dumped between 2011 and 2014. Well, I get messages every day, far more messages than this. We know it's much, much more than this in most recent years. Now, this is a story I've cared about for many years. I've been in touch with people from that region, from Baluchistan, for years, and it continues to amaze me how little is done to help them. So I want to make a start by informing you, the British public, exactly what's happening. There's a growing voice that's demanding the oppression of the Baluch people stops. And the louder that voice gets, the more the media will have to start to listen. This is a start. Once people understand the plight of the Baluch people, it will be a dark stain on anyone who claims to defend human rights and living. These people have ignored the Baluch, but I won't. I hope you take the time to research the crimes committed against the Baluch people by the Pakistani military. Look at the kidnapping stories. Look at the brutality of the military and the exploitation of these poor people. Keep an eye out for more news on this in the coming weeks. I promise you there will be more. And I'm not going to keep quiet about it, neither should you. The voice and the screen for freedom of the Baluchi people will grow and grow. If you want to see more on this issue in the future, please give Rebel Media a like and subscribe because mainstream media ignoring this will bring you the news on Bluestone.